so active. Like he just got up from his nap like 30 minutes ago. And he just active, right? So let me cut his feet up because they go. Hey besties, it's your girl Chastity, and I'm back again with another freaking video. I know you guys haven't seen me in a while. I know I'm supposed to be uploading Wednesdays and Sundays, Sunday and Wednesday. And I promise you guys, I will be getting back on track with that because I have a lot of good footage, good video content that I want to post for you guys. I feel like at the moment, a lot of sit down videos going to be more worth it than just me um, vlogging. I will be doing pretty much a q a things that i feel like people might ask are wondering about me so if you guys like my videos make sure you guys give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel follow me on all of my social media platforms and let's just get into the video so okay y'all so let's start off with the first question the first question is how old is baby daylin baby daylin is two months and he is my first child. He is my only child. So yeah, Daylin is only two months. He's really active and he is a really smart baby. The second question is, do you breastfeed? I do. I don't breastfeed, but I do um, pump and he just drink out the bottle. It's something that I was more comfortable with and that's something that he got used to since the third day out the hospital um so yeah i do um strictly breast milk but if he's with his dad or if he's with like a family member which is not really like he's pretty much with me um he would get um formula so if i run out of any milk it is a backup formula that i give him but i do feel like he likes the breast milk better of course because that's something that he was always used to and he always like throw up like when he drink formula so um i just try to produce a lot of milk as i can it is hard but just me knowing that my baby um this is his food of course i don't want to have to stop it just because i'm tired um but like i said and i don't want nobody to take that in the wrong way this is just my mindset and how i feel number three how does it feel to be a mom okay so honestly like my son is my best friend and i try not to like i'm really trying not to get emotional about it because like god just knew that i needed somebody because like i just i was just really in a dark place last year and a year before so for me to for god to give me a son which they be like um a son is a mother's first love or something like that like you can believe if you want to if you don't you don't but i definitely believe that because my son is literally my best friend and i never i always want to feel wanted and needed so um he needs me you know and he wants me like uh, you can be you can have a baby but you cannot nobody can make you a mom you can be a mom but every mom is not a good mom people sometimes give their babies away and people are not just really good you know parents or whatever and my baby he wants to be with me like he don't want nobody else to hold him and i just love that like of course sometimes you do get overwhelming but at the end of the day i love my child he loves me and yeah the next question is do you want more kids do i want more kids um no not at the moment i do not want another kid honestly like he's a handful and i love my son like he's been there from the beginning like he like my son is what i need right now um my focus is on my son and i just been playing it safe i've been protecting myself and um i'm just doing me you know i'm like I'm just so happy to have a baby. One baby is enough for me. I'm 22 years old. And of course, I feel like I have a lot to give in life. And I have a lot of things that I need to do to provide for us. So of course, like, you know, I'm good with the one kid right now. You and the baby daddy together. Currently, no, we are not. We are co-parenting. And a lot of people probably wondering why honestly like it's just best for us to co-parent our relationship has always been rocky 
So, of course, I'm not the type of female to keep you involved in my life and to trap you. So, like, literally, like, we was going to break up before I even found out I was pregnant. And then we try to make it work again while I was pregnant. And it still just didn't work out. So, right now, we are good co-parenting and not... Um, being a family or whatever i am my son primary caregiver and i take that with a fucking reward or champ or trophy like i don't know like i take that like a g like i do all this on my own i'm a big girl the next question is how was your labor my labor it hurt it so freaking bad like it was just like it's just too much honestly i did a whole labor and delivery story go watch it if you want some more details about it but yeah are you a stay-at-home mom currently i am a stay-at-home mom that just getting by making content and trying to provide for my kid um so yeah that's pretty much it so yeah <laughs> anyways guys if i did not answer any questions that you guys probably wanted to know about me or my situation you guys can always comment below or you guys can follow me on social media on tiktok i pretty much talk about a lot of personal stuff and i hope you guys like this video give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel to see more videos from your girl i will definitely be posting some more videos pretty soon so yeah